Today's video is about developing a mindset, okay? Now we know the first step in the home buying process is to what? Get pre-qualified. Well, I kind of disagree with that because I think there's a step before that that gets overlooked and that's developing a mindset in, into buying a home, right? So now I have these three phrases here and I've heard these three things a lot over the last couple months. It's, I don't have money, whether you don't have money in the savings or you don't make a high enough wage to buy a house, okay? I don't have good credit. I hear that a lot, all right? It's not possible to own a home. Well, first things first, if you use words like these, right? You ever gonna get into a home? Probably not. But what do we do? You know, these first two, they're fixable. I don't have money. You might not have money now, but in a year, if you save and you're diligent and, and, and all that, you know, and you're honest with yourself and you put some money away, maybe in a year, year and a half, you'll have enough money for a nice down payment. Okay, and to cover closing costs and maybe go in the home with a little cushion so you can furnish it and buy all kinds of stuff that you want for it, decor, whatever. All right, so I don't have money, maybe not right now, but in a year, if you keep, the, keep a good mindset and you take care of, you know, that you take care of that plan that you put in place with saving, this sentence turns into this. I have money. Now you feel a little bit better, right? Okay, I, I, I've got the money now. Number two, I don't have good credit. You might not have good credit now, but credit's fixable, okay? Credit is fixable, but listen, don't ask me how to fix your credit because I don't know how, okay? I'm not a professional. I have no idea. Don't ask your neighbor how to fix credit because they don't know. Don't ask old dude down the street slamming the six-pack, you know, Monday Monday through, through Friday, right, during the week. How do I fix my credit? Because he's not going to know either. Go to a legit professional credit debt specialist. So that way, the second phrase, I don't have good credit, turns into, I have good credit. Now you're feeling really good, right? Now your positive mindset is getting stronger. Your mindset is strong. And guess what? Now, a year later, year and a half later, maybe two years, whatever, we come to this third phrase. It's not possible to own a home. Well, guess what? You took care of this. You took care of this, right? You took care of this, your mindset. Now, it is possible to own a home. And look, I know it's cheesy, right? The whiteboard thing and all that, me talking on this, whatever. All right, but it's just, I'm trying to help you develop that mindset because this is important. And you should attack everyday life with a good positive mindset, first of all. But the home buying process, you know, has its ups and downs. It can be stressful, just being honest with you. Um, and I always will be. But, you know, as long as you keep a good, positive, strong mindset, in the end, you're going to be in a home.